So we have a paw pad applique tutorial. I'll be using the Kloof Suits four finger paw pattern. Um, you start with your toe that you cut. Mind the direction of the fur. You're gonna draw it on the back, the shape that you want, and cut minky that covers that entire shape. You're gonna place it over top of the front, and you're going to top stitch, just a single stitch, along that line that you've created. Make sure that the pile of the minky is going the same way as the fur. Um, and you're just going to be really careful to make sure that it doesn't wrinkle or pucker weird. Try to keep it flat. You can go slow. See, I'm adjusting and stopping sometimes. I like to double stitch my paw pads, so I'm going over this one twice. Make sure you either backstitch or I have a setting on my machine that ties a knot. You can see me using it right here. And then, of course, cut your threads. Don't leave your threads long. That's so... Why would you do that? Don't do that. Just trimming my threads. So next we have the minky on top of the paw pad. And it is not stuffed yet. It's just stitched. I'm just showing here how the stitch line is. And I'm going to be cutting it. I use a pair of duckbill shears. Um, this is great for applique purposes. It helps you get right up to that edge. So I usually cut around once first, and then I'll go back and touch it up. I try really hard not to cut the fur, especially with that beaver fur. That's a little bit longer pile than like shaved fur would be. It's the best for toes, though. It's super plush and soft. I'm actually using Fabric Empire White Beaver in this video for these paws. So I'm being really careful, kind of trying to stretch that minky as I cut it, just to avoid cutting the fur underneath, but also being careful not to cut through that seam. So those are like initial cut, and now we're going back and trimming. This takes a little practice, honestly. It's way easier to do with the duck bills than it is with normal scissors. I did that for years and then I found these and I was like, wow, these are amazing. So get yourself a pair of those if you do this a lot. So then I'm going to go ahead and try to brush out fur that was maybe trapped underneath. Um, you can use a needle as well. I'll be showing to uh, pick some of the fur out. The slicker brush works great too. Using both of them together, it, it really helps to get some of that fur out. It's always good to pick the seams a little bit. Sorry for the... I'm new to this video stuff, so I'm trying to, trying to keep it in frame. So now it's all brushed out, it's all trimmed. I'm going to be snipping it so I can stuff the paw pad. So you want to make sure you're not cutting into the minky. So I always try to pull it away and I cut a slit just big enough for me to stuff into the back. And you see there's a little pocket there. And I'll be stuffing it with some polyfill. I like big, exaggerated, puffy paw pads, um, and I think that works best for this specific pattern. I'll be linking this pattern in the bio as well. It's, it's an excellent pattern to modify and just to use as is. I love it. It's perfect. It fits, and it's cute. So I'm just stuffing that in. It's nice and plush. Next, I'll be stitching it up. Um, you can use a few different stitches for this. Recently I've been using the, the Henson stitch, or a blanket stitch. They're slightly different, but I can't remember the difference. Not a blanket stitch, I'm sorry, it's a ladder stitch. So 
so you just kind of get on the very edge there and you go to each side and pull it real gently and it will close itself up and be pretty invisible. It'll just give a nice surface on the inside and your stuffing won't come out, which is really nice. I'll be lining these paws, so you won't really feel the seam too much anyway, but it's just a nice thing to do. And see how that seam's kind of like disappearing? It's a good stitch to learn. Here you go. And that's been tied off, and I'm now I'm going to stitch it onto the base of the paw. I hand stitch my paws mostly. I just like how it looks. I feel like it's nice. So I'm going to be doing an actual blanket stitch here, which I find is the best for fur. It's nice and strong. It's easy to do, and I've gotten so good at it over the years that it's like, why would I use anything else for this specific application? Just doing a few stitches. And now it's stitched on. You can see that blanket stitch. It's nice and even. There's no loose threads, and it looks cute. 